All right, everyone. I know we've all been working extra hard today to get those goofy R twink reports filed in time for the deadline. You know I don't enjoy keeping you late like this, but I appreciate everyone's commitment. We still have quite a bit to do tomorrow, but I need everyone in top shape to focus. You're free to go now. I still have to finish up a bit more for tomorrow. But... Enjoy your night, everyone. Well now, I'd say this calls for a coffee break. It's been far too long now. Hmm? I thought I was the only one left here. Weird. Who would voluntarily stay afterwards to help finish up? Maybe they just didn't hear my announcement. Oh well. They deserve a break too. Hey, you know your shift ended about five minutes... Oh. Uh, it's you. I appreciate your help and all, but you really should get some rest. Wait. You already heard my dismissal. Then why are you still here? You want to help me? But really, I can handle it for tonight. It's not that much. I really do hate to see you overwork yourself. <sighs> well, all right then. If you insist, I won't try and stop you. But you could at least move into my office for the night. We'll get far more accomplished if we have a direct line of communication. <laughs> uh, also, are you wearing a skirt? Uh, no, no, I just noticed it on you. I don't believe I've ever seen you like that before. Hmm. <laughs> you know we have a dress code in this office, right? <laughs> Oh no, I don't have a problem with you wearing a skirt, but it is far too short. Shouldn't you know that as one of our top performing members? <clears throat> That's alright. Your shift did end five minutes ago like I said before, so it's not like I have any concern over what you're wearing now. If it was up to me, I wouldn't mind seeing you like that more often. <laughs> no, nothing. Would you like to come into my office now? It's much better for focusing than these drab old cubicles. Come on, I'll get you a cup of coffee as well. Hmm, I suppose this work won't be that bad with another set of hands. You really are trying to get on my good side, aren't you? What is it that you want? A raise? Promotion? Maybe your own office next to mine? <laughs> Ah, whatever the reason, you are quickly becoming my favorite, you know. And you're not half bad to look at, either. What would you know about unprofessional? What happens after hours stays after hours, of course. <laughs> you know the rules already, don't you? That's right. Good boy. Now. How about that cup of coffee before we get started? I know it might turn into a bit of a long night, but that's okay. As long as we can keep each other company, this office isn't nearly as spooky. You've heard all those old rumors too as well, haven't you? This place used to be an asylum way back when. I can't say I haven't had a few odd occurrences happen while I've been here. <laughs> I'm not trying to scare you. Why don't you just bring your desk nice and close to mine? You know we have strength against ghosts and numbers. <laughs> That's good. Lovely. Now, that cup of coffee. Nice and warm. It has been oh so chilly the past couple of nights. Ah, <sighs> it is nice just to relax a little bit before we get started again, isn't it? 
Especially with you. Honestly, I haven't got to talk to you a whole lot since you first arrived here. But I could tell there was something a little bit different when you arrived. I've appreciated you being here, you know. I know we don't often interact together. But it is lovely to interact with those outside of my immediate circle. Oftentimes, the internal workings and office politics just get a little bit too much to handle. It's nice talking to somebody who's not involved in all that yet. <laughs> Let's hope you keep it that way. It's far less stressful. But besides all of that, have you always been wearing a skirt to work and I just haven't noticed somehow? Or is this a first time occurrence? <laughs> Pardon my curiosity. I just think you look quite cute, to be honest. <laughs> Hopefully you don't think I'm prying or anything. But I have kept my eye on you for quite some time now. <laughs> oh, so this is a first-time occurrence. <laughs> How come you didn't do this sooner? If I would have known you looked this good, I probably could have managed to change those dress guidelines just a little bit. You know it makes for a much better view than just staring off into cubicle hell like I do every other day. <laughs> God, look at you. You're such a distraction anyway. That's right, though. I suppose even though these reports need to be finished by next week, we do have quite the competent team under our belts. Only having a 30 minute break after working all day does seem a little bit criminal. Perhaps we could just postpone those filings a little bit longer. I think it'll be all right. What say you, my dear? <laughs> I like your thinking as well. You'll definitely be prepared for upper management one day. <laughs> now come here. You are so far away at that desk, you know. Seeing as how you'll be my successor one day, how about I give you a quick tour of your future office? Would you like that? <laughs> Lovely. That's what I was hoping to hear. How about you come right over here? You won't be needing that desk anymore. We can share for a little bit. How does that sound? <laughs> Only one share? So what? Is there a problem with that? No. I didn't think so at all. Come here. Sit right on my lap and face the desk. I can show you everything you need to know from here. One day you'll be making the big important decisions right at this very desk. How does that feel? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll still be there as well, you know. And you'll be welcome in my new office any time you please. But this is what we deal with for now. There's the phone where you'll talk to Quandale Dingle in accounting about everything that's gone wrong. And there's the demon magic ritual book for when you need a little bit of magic to get something done right. <sighs> How else do you think I've managed to keep this company afloat for so long? Only a little bit of demon magic could help this nightmare. But besides all of that, the important thing is now that you're right here sitting in my lap with that lovely little skirt on you. <laughs> I could admire that for quite a while. But you're looking a little bit tired, my dear. No doubt from working so long and hard all day. You know I hate to see it when you overwork yourself. How about you just lean back a little? 
I can take care of you for now. I'm sure you don't have anywhere important to be. <laughs> How about we just enjoy the moment for a while? Hmm. Does that feel all right, dear? Quite the tense shoulders from leaning over that computer all day. But you're such a hard worker. You deserve a little bit of a reward. Hmm. <laughs> this is only just the beginning. You know you'll get quite a lot from me. You've already won me over if that was your goal. <laughs> quite effective. Quite effective indeed. You naughty little thing. Scheming right behind my back. And it even worked. I won't deny that. Hmm, your shoulders do feel quite lovely. But this dress shirt is in the way. Would it be of any trouble to you to unbutton it just a little bit? No one will notice. You know you and I are the only ones left here. <laughs> That's it, dear. Good, good. Just so I can get an optimal angle on those shoulders. Lovely. Lovely indeed. What a beautiful figure you have. Truly is a shame you've had to cover it up for this long. But I guess that might pose as a distraction in the office. <laughs> and how's that back? I know it could use a bit of a rub as well. God, your skin is so soft, so warm to the touch. It feels lovely. If we can both work with you sitting on me like this, I think both of our productivities would go down a little bit, but our work satisfaction would be much higher. That seems like a pretty decent trade-off to me, though. Hmm, you feel so lovely sitting on me like this. How about you turn around? I want to see that cute face again. Don't think I forgot, and don't think you can hide your blushes anymore. <laughs> That was already evident the moment I caught you in that skirt. God, you're so adorable. Wish I could just keep you like this forever. But you and I know we'd never get anything done like that. So, it's nice just to take a little break from reality with you. Mm, those perfect hips. I love resting my hands along them and rubbing all the way up. Stay just like that for a while. You've got nothing to rush to anymore. Hmm. <laughs> I would say you're dismissed any time you want. But you and I both know you're not leaving for a little bit longer at least. <clears throat> that 
That's a good thing, though. I have a few more plans for us here. But I suppose you'll just have to wait and see, dear. For now, we can just go nice and slow. I want you to be fully relaxed after a long, hard day, of course. That's it. That's it. Such a good boy. You deserve everything you're going to get. Boy kiss 